Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another video. Uh, I did have a live stream scheduled for today around this time, but uh, I decided not to because, you know, I just feel, you know, I tell myself that I'm going to do a live stream and then I never do it. I just feel unmotivated to do it. And plus, you know, it takes a long time to, you know, make sure you guys are even wanting me to do one and it takes a long time for me to make sure people are going to watch and set it up and everything like that so I decided to make this video instead now it's been a while since I've done an album review I think the last review I did was for Wage Wars latest album Pressure that came out a couple of weeks ago so I decided to do a review on an, an older album that came out in Let's see. 2006, I believe. Yes. And, you know, uh, this is pro this is definitely one of my favorite metalcore bands of all time. And I have covered them on this channel before. I don't know if it's been a lot. But I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on this one. It says Kill Switch Engage with their album As Daylight Dies which is my favorite album by this band and as you guys have probably also heard me say on this channel I'm, I'm a big fan of the Howard Jones era of Kill Switch Engage I know you know Jesse Leach was the original singer who started Kill Switch then he left then Howard Jones came in for a couple of albums and then he left and now Jesse Leach is back I mean, that's fine. I've got nothing against Jesse Leach. I just prefer Howard Jones' style a little bit better. And with the album As Daylight Dies, I think this really showcases what Howard Jones can really do. And you know, I'm not going to go over every single track. I only save that for albums that I really, really want to dive deep into. Uh... You know, I'm sure most of you have heard this album. Most of you probably have this album, so there's no sense in me, you know, going in depth on every single song. But I will cover the highlight songs for me. And first off, you got to start with track number three, which is "The Arms of Sorrow." I know this was the big single uh, when the album came out, and you know, I mean, how could it not be? I mean, everything about this song is absolutely top-notch very fantastic I love how the heaviness of the music also coincides with the melodic singing of Howard Jones you know we all know that Howard Jones has a great screaming voice but I think where he really really shines is on his melodic vocals and that is showcased tremendously on the song and it's a song that's very powerful to uh, me as well as my best friend. Uh, it's kind of like an, an anthem song for us in a way. I guess I can say that. Um, you know, it's talking about, you know, how sometimes we, you know, we all have dark moments. We all have dark days. And sometimes it feels like you're doing nothing but falling deeper into the arms of sorrow you know we all that's something that we all go through it's something that we all struggle with it's definitely a relatable song with like i said powerful lyrics powerful vocals powerful instrumentation it's just an overall fantastic song to really uh get you prepared for the rest of the album uh Another song I want to talk about is track number five, which is the song My Curse. Uh, this is probably my second favorite song from the album, and I know it was another single that was released. Um, I know it feels like I'm going through all the singles, but I promise me the next one is not a single. At least I don't think it ever was. But, man, My Curse is an absolutely another fantastic song. And if you want to see how Howard Jones can scream, just listen to the opening scream on this song. It starts off with a cool melodic guitar intro, and you think it might be a softer song. And then it does this build-up to the, that big Howard Jones scream, and it, 
it absolutely takes your breath away on how uh, brutal this scream is. And throughout the whole song, you can hear Howard Jones go back and forth between his regular singing vocals and, and his uh, unclean singing vocals. Uh, just another fantastic song. Uh, uh, my favorite part doesn't even involve Howard Jones at all. My favorite part is in the bridge. After Howard Jones has his little screaming part, there's a soft part right at the end there where I think it's the uh, the lead guitarist, and his name is Adam. Uh, well, his last name is too hard to pronounce, <laughs> but I'm sure you guys might know who I'm talking about. And he sings the line, and I see your face in these tears, in these tears, and I see your face. And just the way it's displayed it's just so melodic and so beautiful i mean i i get chills every time i hear that part and it, and it it's kind of weird that um it's definitely my favorite part of the song i just wish it wasn't close to the end of the song you know i wish they could have incorporated that into other parts of the song you know like maybe after every chorus i think that would have been cool but yeah, that's definitely my favorite part of the song, and I'm sure you guys might know what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's see. The, I think the last one that I'm going to talk about is track nine, which is Break the Silence. Now, this is, like I said, this is the one that I don't think was ever a single at all. This may be just one of the deep cuts that everybody likes. Uh, it's definitely a my third and final standout track on this album. I mean, that's not to say that the album doesn't have any more. It's just these are these are the top three that I'm focusing on for this review. Uh, Break the Silence is... It has a very powerful message. It's talking about standing up for what you think is right. For, and, uh, you know, because there's a line, and the, the chorus says... Uh, you know, if we can't break the silence, how can we survive? Search inside yourself and know that you're alive. And it's definitely a wake-up call that I think we all need at times. Um, it's talking about just how people sit around and watch the world die and they don't really do anything about it. And you know, well, that's another thing that we're all guilty of at times. Uh, very powerful in-your-face song. Um, once again, Howard Jones shows his incredible uh, melodic range as well as his incredible screaming range. Um, he's just a fantastic vocalist. Probably my favorite metalcore vocalist of all time, I would say. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no, I don't think Howard Jones can do any wrong. I really don't. I know he's got his own band now called Light the Torch. Uh, you know, you guys can feel free to check that band out whenever you want to. But, yeah, overall, you know, The Arms of Sorrow, My Curse, and Break the Silence, those are the three songs that I'm talking about for this review. Um, it definitely sets the tone for what you're going to hear on the rest of the album. The rest of the album is just like that. It's a very great album, in my opinion. Now, as far as what I would rate this as a whole, I, w uh, I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10, but I would put it very close to that. I would, I would honestly give As Daylight Dies by Kill Switch Engage, I would probably give it a 9 or a 9.5 out of 10. That's how much I enjoy listening to this album. And, you know, it's just, it's just great. I mean, I, there's no other way I can explain it. <sighs> but anyway, guys, I think I'll leave it there for now. Uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Uh, do you agree with my rating? Do you agree with my opinion? If not, you know, don't be shy. Tell me down below what you think. Um... What are your favorite tracks from this album? Uh, do you prefer Howard Jones or Jesse Leach as a vocalist for Kill Switch Engage? Uh, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends about me, and as always, I'll see you next time. Take care.